If you are looking for getting more ultimate team coins, instead of buying them with real money, go to the auction market and trade. It's more rewarding, cheaper and pretty easy to do as well. Hey guys, Slamfa92 here again today with a video I don't usually tend to do. It's a player review about one single player in the Perfect Partnership series. I of course sort of do player reviews but for two players at one time and they play together. But I just had to review this player. It is of course, as you can see in the title already, the team of the season, Di Natale. 92 overall rate, ridiculously good stats on his card there to be honest. And I paid 999,000 coins for him which was uh, last night I bought him for that uh, actually a very good price by now I actually sold him for like 850,000 coins so I made a huge loss on him anyways playing him in this full uh, Italian Serie A team uh, just to yeah be able to play in this Serie A tournament which by the way seems to be full of yeah five at the back squads and uh, stuff like that so it's not too enjoyable at times but also it was kind of a good test for Di Natale because he came up against some solid defensive lines so let's check out his stats and by the way I took these screenshots from Footwiz, the uh, ultimate team database you probably all know that page 92 in pace 94 shooting 89 passing and 93 dribbling absolutely amazing stats there on the team of the season Di Natale you can forget about the defending and the heading of course his physical stats are insane 98 acceleration is crazy 99 reactions 95 agility and 93 balance as well and also 89 sprint speed and he now has over 70 in strength also got 88 attacking positioning combined with high attacking work rate low defensive work rate which is always very nice and also 82 in vision is not too bad there either and then his skill stats are just immense uh, dribbling wise shooting wise everything just insane uh, good free kick so you have got a good free kick and corner kick taker as well and apart from the heading and the defensive stats all in the green area which is just really really good in everything apart from the long passing here above 90 which is just crazy now let's move on to some clips first of all some shots that didn't go in then later on some assists and then finally some goals I think he had 5 assists for me and scored 9 goals in 10 games, so that was pretty pretty nice about him. Uh, and first and foremost, let me tell you, he is an insane player, I'm um, not gonna lie, he's very very, very good. Um, the only problem is, uh, or actually it's not really a problem, but the only thing about that is normal version and the inform and the second inform of him are also very, very good. And as you probably all know, he is my favorite player on this year's ultimate team because he's just a very, very solid player all around. He's got the perfect work rates, he's got 4-star skill moves, he's got 4-star weak foot. I don't care about heading anyways because I don't usually tend to cross the ball into the box. Uh, so he's a perfect player for me at least um, because I... I like to have my uh, like my strikers to also have good passing and he just fulfills that perfectly and so does his team of the season card here you can see some crosses by him uh, just straight to the head of the player in the middle and uh, De Rossi and Ogbonna uh, the two times before that just ha needed to head it home and here's some other assists so his passing is very good so you can actually play him as a center attacking midfielder as a center forward and as a striker, of course, I actually use normally use the uh, non-informed Di Natale as a center attacking midfielder in my team because he's really, really good from that position as well. So um, I maybe should have tried him out as a cam as well. But uh, now we are moving on to some goals. And first of all, his agility and uh, his dribbling and also the combination with the 98 acceleration is absolutely amazing. Usually he can just yeah make one turn and then burst away with his 90x acceleration and like here and he's just done and brilliant finishing on him brilliant long shots very good shot power on him too four star weak foot always does help out there are quite a few goals here with his left foot which uh, he scored here very very comfortably uh, yeah usually into the bottom corner like for example here after a nice dummy and the dummy is actually very effective with him because he can just burst away with his acceleration and also a sprint speed isn't too bad there at 89 either uh, so really really fast agile player with also very good balance you will see uh, one goal later on in this video where he actually shows his great balance where he uh, takes a shot way off balance and still manages to put it into the bottom corner with absolute ease so he's a fantastic player guys and if you've got the uh, chance to try him out uh, i know he's very very expensive and his normal version is very good already but if you've got a chance of trying him out i would highly recommend that because he is a lot of fun to play with um 
However, the only problem probably is that when people you come up against see a blue card that is 92 overall rated, they may be a little bit yeah, more aware of uh, yeah, him being a very good player than when you just get the normal 85 rated version. So people might yeah use contain defending a lot more. Um, I came up against a lot of contained defenders here uh, as well in this in these year couple of games I played with the Natal and here's the shot completely off balance but still into the bottom corner very very good goal there by Tina Talo once again and he was just a pleasure to use guys and uh, like all his other versions as well so really good player overall and uh, yeah, what can I say? Just try him out if you want to. But of course, he's a very special yeah, and kind of rare card. And for actually over 800,000 coins, it's ridiculous for one player. I probably wouldn't pay that once again. But here is his last goal. I think it's also his nicest goal. Kind of a sideways volley or bicycle kick-ish kind of goal. Uh, anyways, let's break down the team of the season. Di Natale is a positive zone in. Definitely were his pace, his great dribbling, good agility and balance as well. Great shooting overall, his perfect work rates and four star skills, four star weak foot. The only two cons, and I put them in brackets because um, because I will tell you a little bit later why. Uh, first of all, not a great yeah, improvement compared to his second end form or his yeah other versions, in my opinion at least. And of course, his very high price. But as a card in its own, he is absolutely brilliant. And I don't usually rate these kind of stuff as con simply because it hasn't much to do with the card itself because the price mainly is due to the fact that he is such a rare player and so you basically pay for that rarity because he isn't too frequent on the market so it hasn't got too much to do with the player himself anyways i still list it as a con here is just so you are aware of these facts so anyways guys if you enjoyed this video then please drop a like rating on that really helps me out and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment below if you'd like to see any other reviews from yeah team of the season serie a players like for example the team of the season balotelli who also looks very very good yeah at least concerning his card face and in-game stats once again thanks a lot for watching watching and for listening through the whole commentary and I'll talk to you later.